Yo, midday, midday video. Please excuse the mess. I'm uh, doing some, we're doing some renovation here in my house and everything's a freaking mess. Uh, I want to talk about, oh man, monetarists, of which Jerome Powell is definitely in that club. Monetarists don't even understand their own theories. I'm going to talk about because uh, he just said that the Fed may be coming close to its qu ending its quantitative tightening. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to explain that. And it's, it's wacko, man. It's wacko. But first, I just want to say one thing. It's odd to me, like people sign up for my report. And then every once in a while, I'll have somebody say, Mike, your information is really valuable but I'm not into trading. What is it that I talk about every single freaking day? It's the macro picture. It's the flows. It's the fiscal flows. The report, I mean, if you go over the report over the last, I don't know how many months, it's basically been hammering home that theme that risk assets are going to go up. That means stocks. That means commodities. That means gold. That means silver every single week in that report. So, I mean, people who say this to me, Mike, I love your information, but I'm not into trading. I need to hold a position. That's exactly what it is. So I don't know, they, they don't read it or they don't understand it. I try to make it as understandable as possible. And at the same time, being informative and educational. All right, let me talk about this. this uh, <laughs> because he said, yeah, we're going to, we're coming close to ending quantitative tightening. So what exactly is this quantitative tightening? When they, when they talk about quantitative tightening, basically they're talking about the Fed reducing its balance sheet, okay? And the way it does that is it allows assets on its books to basically, um, you know, come to maturity. So they, they kind of roll off. These are assets that the Fed accumulated from the economy. In other words, they sucked it up like a vacuum cleaner onto their own balance sheet. And we're talking mainly these are treasury securities. So they're taking the highest level of cap uh, of uh, collateral, all right? Treasuries, which are basically cash equivalents. They hoovered them up, another term for vacuuming, They've hoovered them up from the economy to their own balance sheet where they are receiving the higher interest payments. And um, what the, that's, this is what they call quantitative easing, all right? And the economy got, in return, basic reserves which are low yielding and have to be capitalized so now when they do quantitative tightening which is the opposite they're allowing those high quality higher yielding assets effectively to be transferred to the economy right because now when the government issues them they go straight to the economy without the fed vacuuming them up so the economy receives, this is what they call tightening, folks. The economy receives the highest level collateral at a high, at, with a higher yield, a yield, okay? More interest income being transferred into the economy. And the Fed takes away the low yielding reserves, which need to be capitalized, which basically the banks don't even want. I mean, that's one of the reasons why, you know, when, when reserves were going through the roof, the Fed had to create that reverse repo facility so that the banks could, could stick the reserves in there. They didn't even want them. You follow what I'm saying? And these, these monetarists, they call this a tightening. They, this is why... Over the last three years, since, uh, what, March 2022, when the Fed started to do this, quote unquote, tightening, the economy has grown, has continued to grow, grow steadily, and the S&P has doubled in value. Doubled. So this is a tightening. 
You follow what I'm saying? They think by allowing these tier, this tier one capital, the highest collateral in the universe, to go into the economy with its higher yield, in other words, higher interest income transfers into the freaking economy, while the Fed takes away the low yielding, unnecessary reserves for the most part. The banks don't even really want them. They call that a tightening. It's ridiculous. So these monetarists, they don't understand their own principles and theories. They don't understand it. And what they call a monetary, a quantitative easing is the opposite. They're taking away those high quality, high yielding assets onto their own books, the Fed's own books, like going into a black hole. They get to benefit from it. That's why over the years, when they had this huge balance sheet, they were able to transfer a hundred billion plus every year in profits to the U.S. Treasury. They were making all the money. It was being sucked out of the economy because all the economy got were these low yielding, unnecessary, unwanted reserves, like out the wazoo. They didn't want it. The bank had a freaking find a place to stick it. You see how ridiculous these people are? Anyway, that, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Please like and subscribe and go sign up for my report. Then you could tell me, oh, I don't like it because I don't like trading, even though that's not what I do. It's a macro freaking perspective. Bye.